Hi, my name is Dylan Hong, and today I've got a special video for you guys. I got this in the mail today. It's a 3D printing pen from a company named Soyan. And as someone who loves tech and consumer electronics, of course I love 3D printing tech, you guys know that. And so I was extremely curious about checking out this 3D printing pen. I've got a little different setup today. I've got an action camera right there. Sorry, it's in the shot. Uh, but hey! And I wanted to show off the unboxing and operation of this pen. So let's get right into it. Operation, instructions. Probably important. Probably, what, power cable? Sorry you can see the microphone right here. I need to get a studio or something, really. And I was right, it's a power brick. All right, got it plugged in, used an outlet extender. Press the wire feeding button to start preheating. After about a half to two minutes later, the red light will turn blue, saying that the pen is ready to use. Insert the consumable material to the wire loading hole. Will be loaded by the built-in motor. Okay. You can adjust the spray amount according to the moving speed. No need to use both hands. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty simple. Comes with three, three pieces of filament. Uh, they're each 10 grams, total of 30 grams extra filament for free that comes with this. You can buy a pack. I believe it's $17 on Amazon uh, and you get a bunch like a lot of filament I'll link to that down in the description down below so this is ABS filament it's standard thickness 1.75 millimeters I prefer PLA for actual 3d printing let's see how this goes oh and of course the 3d printing pen that's important plug this guy straight in oh it comes in different colors too: blue yellow orange and gray all right so I just pressed on this the feed button and the light has turned red. I guess I just let it sit and wait. All right, so it's green now, so let's get right into it. I got this pink filament that I want to try out. So I just press the feed button and it's doing this for me. So you can slowly see it and feel it start feeding in. I do wish there were better management for all this filament. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I could, all right, get a nice bracelet. Here we go. I just wanna start, start drawing now. All right, I'm, I'm really just trying to draw a box at this point, like a, a square cube. You really, you start to get the hang of it. It is very tricky in the beginning. Oh, and there it is. My beautiful creation. This wonderful cube. Look at that. Look at that. Can you even see this in that camera? I don't know. Look at it. It's beautiful. You can put it on like two of the sides. <laughs> this is actually a lot of fun. Melting ABS plastic is a little less environmentally safe than PLA. Uh, triangle, Triforce, 3D Triforce. Let's see how this goes. The filament does last a long time, 10 grams. I mean, I, I feel like I've used none of this in all my testing so far. I know I haven't printed a lot, but this is the base. Ooh, I should start out with the smaller triangles first. Ooh, too much. Ah! Ah! Ooh. This, this could totally come out better with practice. Don't, don't think that you're gonna be whipping out magical creations the first time you get this thing, because... Unless I'm just really bad. And there it is. My beautiful, gorgeous Triforce from The Legend of Zelda. All right, I'm gonna try, do something real big here, draw a little mini man. Let's, let's see this, let's go. I'm not a huge fan of the fastest speed. I put it around mid speed and I've, I've liked that a lot more. Feet, good structure. Look at this, beautiful feet. Okay, now with like this thick stuff, now I feel like I'm burning through some filament, so. And yeah, giving stuff a, a second or two to dry, or dry, well, eh, harden, is, seems like it works a lot better. Okay, that's actually, that's not bad if I do say so myself. Look at all this detail that I'm putting into this. This is the nervous system, like, <laughs> like a real hyper-realistic nervous system.
Wow, there we go. Look at this, my little man. It'll turn to standby mode if I don't do anything with it for a while, but I'm just gonna unplug it, save the planet. Overall, I have to say this was really fun. I only played with it for 30 minutes, but I mean, from my initial creation, which is this, to my all around, whoa, to my all around masterpiece, which is this guy, right? Big difference. The more you play with it, the more you get into it, the better you get, and it's fun. It, it really is fun. Now, there are a lot of other 3D printing pens out there, and the, the biggest one out there, you probably heard of it, costs $100, right? That, that's expensive. Really what you're thinking of is it's a hot glue gun that instead of does glue, it's filament, you know, stackable, moldable filament. You can pick this guy up for $36 on Amazon, links down in the description down below, but that's, that's really reasonable for something this much fun. If you like doing fun art stuff like this, you want to try it out, or you just need a gift for someone, this is a pretty cool gift. I'd be stoked to get something like this. My name is Dylan Hong. This has been my unboxing and review of the Soyan 3D printing pen. Like and subscribe for some more tech goodness, and thanks for watching.